Another modern discovery, which we owe to the hydrangea, concerns the influence of air drainage upon plant climate. Many years ago, when I was traveling about the country, I noticed magnificent hydrangeas on the hills, where the air drainage was uh, perfect, and very poor specimens, or perhaps none at all, in the valleys. Formerly, we used to consider sheltered valleys more favorable to plants than hilltops. But the avoidance of late spring and early autumn frost enjoyed by sites with good air drainage, where the cold air can drain safely away to lower levels, gives the hills a decided advantage. Thus, it was the hydrangeas that gave the first pointer in another modern discovery of horticultural importance. From this, it might appear that the hydrangea is a fairly simple plant, but there are more complications. The cultivation of hydrangeas was evolved from a number of varieties originally found in Japan, not all of which, of course, have the same characteristics. Two of them do not share the quality of producing blue flowers in mineral-rich soil. Allow me to introduce our American visitors. I must ask you to forgive their somewhat lackadaisical manners, but I have conditioned them, or brainwashed them, which I understand is the new American word, to believe that they are waiting out a storm in the lobby of a small hotel in New Jersey, where a meeting of the Ladies' Garden Club is in progress. You will notice that I have told them they may smoke. <laughs> I've allowed my people to have a little fun in the selection of bizarre tobacco substitutes. <laughs> my dear Jan, as you grow older, you grow more long-winded. And to get to the point, has the man ever killed anyone? Why, well, enough. I apologize, my dear Dimitri. I keep forgetting that you're a young country and your attention span is limited. Tell me, Raymond, have you ever killed anyone? No, ma'am. Not even in combat? In combat? Yes, ma'am, I think so. Of course you have, Raymond. Raymond has been a crack shot since childhood. Marvelous outlet for his aggressions. May I have the bayonet, please? Not with the knife, with the hands. With the hands? Here, have him use this. Ah, oh, da, da. Raymond, whom do you dislike the least in your group here today? The least? That's right. Well, I guess Captain Markham, ma'am. You notice how he is always drawn to authority? Uh, that won't do, Raymond. We need the captain to get you your medal. Whom else? Well, I guess Ed Mavoli, ma'am. Ah, that's better. Now then, Raymond, take this scarf. And strangle Ed Mavoli. Uh, to death. Yes, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Hey, Sarge, cut it up. <laughs> Quiet, Ed, please. Now you just sit there quietly. But cooperate. Yes, ma'am. Well, uh, <laughs> God, so finally got here, breaking down the door and uh, <laughs> nearly knocking the camera over. Oh, wow, you have an exciting new look, Gonzo, with your hair coming through. All... Is that a new hat? I feel like I was set up right there. <laughs> oh, you set up? I opened the door. Why would you? No, you threw it open. You threw that door open. No, I did not. Okay, I did if not. you come in five minutes after this picture oh, begins... Hello. You won't know what it's all about. You were five minutes late. 
He must work out. <laughs> well, can we see uh, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gonzo? And Eric, hey, you've got a Celtic shirt on too, don't you? And a Celtics jer jersey in the, in the background. It, do you? But you don't. Do you have a Celtics hat on? Yes, I, yes, do. I do. Can we see the front of it, please? Yeah. Yeah. I I like to. S oh, that's not a real Celtics hat. I like to see the. Uh, yeah, that's a Celtic. That I like to see the leprechaun. Oh, so now you put that up so nobody can see me, huh? We don't call them leprechauns anymore. I can't figure it out. Anymore. Why? Be, well, well no, vertically we, challenged. But also lucky. Yeah. You could uh, put it over there, Gonzo, on top of the it's TV, a, it's, it's, into it's, the TV. Maybe you could yeah, knock maybe, that over maybe. too. Maybe if you showed up on time, you could have planned this accordingly. Is my shirt blue. That is. Um, that's. It looks a, navy. A, a, a dark women are purple. Always commenting about my shirt. I would say plum. Plum. Yeah. <clears throat> Well, Gonzo's here in a muscle shirt, so you know. Well, Paul Pierce, yeah. Who's I, uh, who's the number? Th is it it's Larry Paul. Bird? It's Paul. Um, I haven't gotten my summer body yet, so. Who's so? Uh, who's the number? What's it's, the number? It's, it's Paul Pierce. Pierce. It's Paul Pierce. Oh, gee, yeah, that's right. You're younger. Thirty-four. The truth. The truth. Thank you. Yeah. Um, it's it's not about age, John. It's um, he still won a championship I, I, for us. John, I have a Paul Pierce jersey wow. as well. Well, Larry Bird won three for me. Okay, I'm not taking anything away from Larry Bird. But... What about Dave Cowens? Okay, what about uh, what about Bill you, Russell? Well, uh, yeah, about... I just remember Bill Russell at the end, so I only remember three of his. <laughs> I have. I have... actually only remember one of his. Sixty-nine. I have Larry Bird um, cereal. In a box, unopened. Do you want to sell it? Yeah, it goes My for fifteen dollars online right now. That's all. That's okay, all. I'll give you fifteen. My sisters could put it at their store because people are crazy what they'll buy. I thought it would be worth more than that, though. I'm a little discouraged by that. Can no drinks on the desk. I, I have a, no I, drinks I have a, on the desk. And why don't you bring me some? I could use some passive income. That's the selling. You passive income. I just found that I have no income. You really? get a job though. How'd you get here? Cost gas to, to drive nowadays. I'm uh, I'm living in the Queen City. The, they're all blaming Biden time. right now. It is, all... it is Biden's fault. Oh, whatever. The hey, bunny. when uh, when uh, uh, Obama was president, he had good relations with the Saudis, and they'd pump oil and uh, you know bring the price down. Yeah, but wasn't George Bush president, and the prices were still in the fourth? I, uh, I I don't remember recall. Oh, okay, yeah, convenient. All I know is that the Carl, you went off camera. Thank you. Oh, come on, put the camera in. This is ten. This is ten. Then he's, he's, he's sweating. So I sweat. It's, man, ten I, it's almost Christ-like, don't you think, boy. Eric? I'm not acclimating. Oh, you yet. can't see this, can you? Um, Eric, um, who do you blame on the oil or the uh, the gas prices right now? Joe Budd. Would you yeah, Eric absolutely? Now? That's right. Okay. Just, well, just we start. We are here to talk about the WPYP TV takes a look at the Manchurian candidate. Now, the Manchurian candidate, I guess, was Obama, but you know, things were relatively okay with him. My have wife, you have you ever seen the Manchurian Candidate, uh, Gonzo? Yes, I did. It's a great movie. Um, the original one with Frank Sinatra. Yeah, no, I didn't see that one. I saw the one with George Clooney. George Clooney was never in the Manchurian. Candidate. Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, Eric, was uh, George Clooney in the uh, Manchurian Candidate? No, no Liv Schreiber was. Oh, yeah. What was George Clooney in? Oh, The Ides of March was what I was thinking of. He was in a terrible remake of, of Tarkovsky's Solyaris. Did you know that? Yes. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice try. I have well, I watched it originally in Russian, which you know, my Russian is very poor. What about you, Carl? Are, how is your Russian language? How are your langu Russian language skills? Uh, it's not well, but I did uh, see Behind Enemy Lines with uh, Owen Wilson. It's a very nice. good film. Behind Enemy Lines with Owen Wilson, yeah, nice. I thought he was a comic actor. No, that was very serious. He did. That... He just disappeared after that, right? Yeah. Wow. I know. It was drug addict or something? Whoa! No, no, no. don't. Well, Johnny was, Depp. Uh, maybe he had a family. On. You don't know that. You don't, you're, you're jumping to conclusions. He does have a brother. Yeah, he has yeah. family. Well, he's a has-been. We don't want to talk about has been Oh, my God. Why? Uh, you know what I was going to say, John. What about you being a has-been? It's better to be a has-been than a never, never was. was. <laughs> it's a, no, it's a never will be. 
right? Eric? Well, you should know all about that, Gonzo. What do you mean? I'm <laughs> hmm? Hmm? Ooh. bigger than Peter White. I pull up to the scene and my roof gone. Yeah, but your roof gong. You didn't bring the stuff that you needed today. Oh, I did. Now, I did. Yeah, yeah you brought the bong with you. No, oh, no, no. no. So if we can just uh, family, talk about yeah. this real quick. So he he worked very diligently on this yeah. today, um, and then forgot in the car. So he rode his new bicycle down yeah. to his car that he bought on the street. Yes, I, it was a private sale. Yes, correct. It was a private sale. Which you're is that what's to do. that disgusting thing you're, you're lo we're looking That's at? That's my face. That's Kyle. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> These are the many looks of Kyle. That wasn't nice. <laughs> well, it, well, it did look disgusting. Here, you get, pass that, him that over. That wasn't um, nice sure. to Kyle yeah, Clayton. Eric, that, it, in in his defense, um, I just got over a, a severe Kyle. tooth infection, so my face was a little swollen. So it might have been, it might look gross. Mm -hmm. Well, you look like you. This looks like uh, uh, you could have been in the last Temptation of Christ. Yeah, he's handsome. By Martin huh? Scorsese. Um, so I impacted tooth. No, I, I don't think Kyle's handsome. But why? I, he's handsome. You don't have to. I, well, I'm, I'm not queer, so I, I really oh can't my. tell. Uh, you don't have to be to know what a good-looking guy is. Well, Robert Even Redford. Were, Robert okay. Redford. Robert Redford, who uh, of course I take after, is a handsome guy. Hold on, John. So in in that in that mindset. Nobody is handsome. No guys are handsome. Paul Newman was handsome. Uh, well, so you, that, uh, okay. all right, let's just all leave right, this alone, right. John. You can cancel yourself, okay? Oh, isn't this? Uh, look at this one, Eric. Look at that picture. That's what a, had just happened there? Um, oh, uh, can we actually uh, have a gander, Brenda? Hey, we Brandon. He's trying that there. He's now. he's not. I wouldn't try either. Well, he, we were all happy uh, <laughs> because we only thought Kyle was showing up. You didn't submit the files before the show. <laughs> no, I actually did 24 hours before. What's happened? It looks like you know you're sitting on uh, a, a it's a bad mustache. A big mountain of cocaine. Um, Bare bottom, but back. Which I have been accused of, by the way, by Rich Gerard. I Wait. I actually went front bottom. <laughs> I don't, I don't know how to respond to that. Well, something like that. That's a bad picture of me, John. Is that you as a tyke? No, I, that's not me at all, actually. That's you. No, that's Jimmy Preventure. Thank oh. you. <laughs> oh, you, you're one of the Preventures? <laughs> oh, I knew the Prevent. They went to West High School. No, they went yeah, to Central. I don't know what that is. Uh, what, we got to get back to the movie review. I got about 20. Well, yeah. you, you, we'll you do have, it later. You have your own show, don't you? That's called The Tease. You have your own show that out uh, outstrips Peter White's show. It outgrosses. No, 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 no. I'm not buying that. I'm not taking yeah. that. Beat. Oh, you're, you're you're not doing that anymore. Nice try, buddy. No, it's, a, it, it's just, Eric. Yes. Hey, how are you? Uh, you can ask him about uh, the Manchurian Candidate. Uh, is that what we're doing today, Kyle? Yeah. I I don't know what your premise is for the, the or the base of the show. If you ever talked to me beforehand, you'd know. You just said come in next oh. week. Uh, yeah. No, Kyle, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking okay. to Gonzo. Gonzo don't like to, and I like to bitch at each other. I know that. Is Gonzo's wife calling in today? She's watching he, our life. He, yes, she is. Okay. Once she uh, gets the replacement for Gonzo fully blown up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'll be a long time before that happens. Um, she huffed and she puffed. Okay. And uh, <laughs> your replacement was at hand. You gotta just pick apart my weakness. Okay? <laughs> um, weekend. Your weekend starts on a Wednesday. My weaknesses, John. Okay, Carl. Uh, uh, why don't you take over as host and ask Eric Pilcher about this motion picture? Okay, um, Eric, help. What, what are we talking about right now? Tell us about this boring movie. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us about this boring movie, Eric. Uh, the, uh, the Manchurian Candidate is a uh, film, I forget, it was 1962, stars Lawrence Harvey and Frank Sinatra. Lawrence Harvey is a man that has been brainwashed into becoming a killer here in the United States through, uh, through, through what? Hypnotist. <laughs> uh, and, and Frank Sinatra is his commander and uncovers the plot. It also has Angela Lansbury in it, what? who oh, yeah. we talked about last week for a while, <laughs> if I recall. Were you guys on here last week? Uh, have you seen Angela Lansbury lately? A young Lansbury. I saw Angela Lansbury in 1985, five or six, oh, in her prime. when I was going through Universal. And they were shooting a bit of that show she was on, Murder, She Wrote. In the Flesh. 
Oh yeah, she was there. It was between. If you ever been on a set, it takes forever to you know you set up. You know. Wait, John, you don't think we've been on sets before? I don't know if you've been on a Hollywood movie. Of set. course, we've been on a set. In, in a Hollywood motion picture. No, of course not. Big they, budget. They would never. Anyone should not allow us to do that. But no, we did establish that um, Vince McMahon ruined her career through um, telepathy. Dude, no, it was, it, was, it was uh, it was Monday, Monday Night Raw. Thank you. Sexual Thank you. Uh, no, John, did you? No, because it was a competition. Why did why does it go like that? Did you talk to her? I like sexual indiscretions. Did you I talk can't. to her? No, we were in those little in Universal. You're in these like little trams, and you just go by, and they have a set. Did you that graze was water, her? Water, and you know she's like out. And she's supposed to be in Maine, but it's you know up in Universal City. Did you Washington. graze her arm while walking by? No, I've never, uh, the closest I've been to a, uh, a superstar was, I was about closer to Dustin Hoffman than I am to you oh. right now, Kyle. And I was shocked because he was three inches taller than Is me. Is he handsome? No, no. How do you know? Because he's not wearing uh, his makeup and he had all sorts of pop oh. marks. Oh, he Dusty. has. But he was, you know, he's supposedly the shortest actor, you know, like a midget or we don't use that no, word anymore. No, we don't anymore. use that. Nope. And uh, he was actually today, taller man. than me. It was, you know, that was one of the devastating moments of my life. That and the fact that <laughs> it was after uh, Death of a Salesman and my father was a, as it was a uh, aluminum siding salesman, so therefore I was Biff. If you know the Arthur Miller play, yes, which you, I'm sure you do. You in the back. Yes. Yes, Kyle. Um, so if he's three inches taller, um, what are you then? I'm five four and he's five seven. He's the lowest you can go. Okay. I'm sure. I'm not going to use the, the derogatory. No, don't use that word. Uh, um, John's the lowest setting. I've seen Ronnie Howard. He's really short. Ronnie Howard. How you call Hollywood Ronnie? of you? He's about. Uh, I, and Bobby. I met Rob Schneider on the streets of Boston. Who's Rob Schneider? Uh, he, Rob Schneider. Deuce Bigelow, male gigolo. You can do all it. All that. Uh, I must a bombed. Um, you can do it. It wasn't critically acclaimed. That's that's fair. I only watch. I watch uh, like the, movies by Andrei Tarkovsky. The animal was awesome. The animal was fantastic. Was it as good, <laughs> uh, Eric Pilcher, as the first Manchurian Candidate? Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. Okay. He, 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 enjoyed he enjoyed meeting my two cousins because they were female. And then, and then I went up to him and I'm like, can I have a picture with you? And he's like, yeah, sure. Well, and he looks very unhappy to take a picture with me, but was ecstatic to take a picture with my cousins. Now, did he, uh, you know what I mean, seal the deal? What was that? Did he Seduce seal the cousins. deal? Did he get it done? Absolutely not. Well, he was walking a little ankle biter dog and had a Best Buy bag with him that had Planet Earth on Blu-ray in it. Well, that's <laughs> cruel to insult small dogs. Right. And Planet Pl Pl Earth is a pretty good program. I don't like small dogs. Oh, they're, they're like rats. Oh, we're having oh, we're a we're gonna have a con here. we're having a contra Tom here now. That's a real. Uh, I think that you shouldn't go down that path. All dogs. Getting matter. talking about midgets again. Oh you my gotta stop saying God! That. You well, saying you know, that leprechauns on the Celtics. The M no, word. Like, why are you checking all the boxes today? Are you... Yeah, uh, it, it, that's a nice background. I'll keep it on them. Uh, Kyle looks like he's about to have uh, his head's about to explode. Well, I, I, uh, <laughs> well, first of all, Eric, what are your cousins' names? Just the real Clayton, quick. for Christ's sake. Tanya and Abby. Tanya. Are, are on, they free this weekend? Get on that. Okay. Are they? Uh, they're in Iowa, uh, right? One of them is doesn't date, and the other one is married with two kids. What does it mean she doesn't date? Yeah, she, she doesn't she get asked old? out. She doesn't get asked out. Ugly? Maybe. I don't I, date because I, I don't have any money. <laughs> if I did, I would have to be dating working Guys, girls. I'm talking to Eric right now. Oh, you are. That's right. <laughs> I'm sorry. Go on. Oh, I, oh, I I'd finished. Okay. <laughs> would you, Eric? Would you sleep with the girl in the Queen of Diamonds uh, costume and a uh, Manchurian Candidate? If she were still the age, you know, she was in 1962. She's 62. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it wouldn't uh, like violate any commandments or something. I, I mean, well, if we're talking hypothetically, I mean, being a uh, Pentecostal Christian, yes, I would have to be married, but if I were married, certainly, I'd marry her. 
Good God, look at those legs. They go all the way up. What? I, I, it's a real I'm leg 39 show. I'm now, so we got to kind of speed up the marriage process. We got to speed up the show, too. We're never going to get to on the water. On the waterfront, we'll have to be next week, right? I mean, because we really got to do Brando <laughs> justice. another boring movie to talk about? How can On the Waterfront water be not a boring movie. Oh, it's Brando. Brand, uh, Brand, no, the, it was Lawrence Olivier. The, the best actor, in your opinion. <laughs> no, and the, in uh, the consensus. You love Brando. Yes, and every time, every time Don't I get, get some up. arschlock kicked off my IMDB bio by trying to claim that they uh, wrote it along with me, some other schmuck that puts his name on it. Don't gas It's very me. irritating. It's frustrating. I, I, uh... You should you should put bring that over here. I'll put it right here so we can see uh, your your handsome reactions. You Paul Newman, you. Are you talking to me? That's Who's Paul Newman? Me or him? I think it's Lawrence Harvey. I was talking to. Oh. <laughs> no, Lawrence Harvey was Lithuanian, but he's from South Africa. Yeah, you So was he South African or Lithuanian? That's, well, he was of Lithuanian Jewish extraction from South Africa. He served in the British Armed Forces during the Second World War. Okay. You missed it. Do you have any other questions for Eric, uh, Kyle? I, I, did I ask questions? I'm not, I'm not really sure. Yes, how many minutes is this movie exactly? Do you know that? I believe, I believe it's 122 minutes. Okay, that's, that's good. He's very good. I, I do have a question. Why don't people wear cards as um, clothing anymore? Why are they wearing cards as clothing in this motion picture, Eric Pilcher? That's a better because, question. Because, because, because the card is what activates Lawrence Harvey's killing streak, essentially. Through the hip, when they hypnotized him, I believe it's been about a month since I watched it. I believe it was the King of, Di the King of Diamonds that triggered Queen of Diamonds. Queen of Diamonds, Queen of Diamonds which, that triggers it. Which, as Gonzo liked to add, is a famous story by short story by Pushkin, the great Russian poet. Also referenced in the great song Desperado, don't you play the Queen of Diamonds, boy. You, there you go. The Queen of Hearts. Yeah. yeah. Pushkin and uh, the Eagles. Any other Queen of Diamond references, Kyle? No, I took my card out. Which card? Um, I, I offer the one, people, uh, no, I, you have to give to the police when you, uh, that's called an identification. No, um, <laughs> I, I carry a business card with me now. You do? Yep. Yes. It's just a king of hearts. Yeah. But I don't oh. have it with me because I, I, I don't even have business cards. It's not real, Eric. It, it, I'm living a facade. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, I'm going to have to get on Matt to get me business cards. No, it's just, I just hand out king Good of hearts as they call me. <laughs> hey, hey, let's watch that second clip from uh, the Manchurian Candidate. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's called. All right, here we go then. Yep. We'll just let's see whatever comes up. <laughs> if we may proceed with the demonstration. Raymond. Who is that little fellow sitting next to the captain? That's Bobby Limbeck. Our mascot, I guess you'd call him. Doesn't look old enough to be in your army. I guess he isn't, but there he is, ma'am. Captain Marco, you'll be good enough to lend Raymond your pistol, please. Yes, ma'am. Thanks, Ben. Sure, kid. Shoot Bobby Raymond through the forehead. Yes, ma'am. It's so awful, is to keep dreaming a thing like that about Sergeant Shaw. Oh, it's been going on for weeks now. 
I must be going crazy. What you ought to do is to write to Sergeant Shaw. No, I tell you nothing's wrong with me. You ought to write to him and see if anyone else is having dreams like yours. Yeah. Yes. Maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I'll do that. Anybody can help me. He can. You like him a lot, don't you? Raymond Shaw is the bravest, kindest, warmest, most wonderful human being I've ever known in my life. Gonzo has a Mountain Dew hat on. Yeah. Are those allowed? Is it because of the color scheme? I'm colorblind. Has something to do with the Celtics? No. Frank They're two different color greens, actually. Um, this is more of an electric lime green. We seem to have an incoming phone call. Oh Hi, how are you? Welcome to WPYP TV. <laughs> I hope you have something good to add to the show today. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm getting close to F, I, I'm getting close to F bombing. You can't do that. You can't. Tom. We're live, and you're gonna ruin our replay. I think we should have a show at night, and we should say whatever we want. Yeah, no kidding. It's called a podcast. You should come on our show. I call you every time we start one. You call me on uh, Messenger. I don't. I don't live on Facebook. Okay, we'll, we'll use your real phone number. But um, grow up, Kyle. Uh, uh, I do. You have. mean grow down? Grow you up. Mean I, 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 like, I, I think you're, you'd be I'm expanding. I'm going to strangle you. Oh, oh. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Eric, um, what, are your, what are your thoughts on that scene right there, please? <laughs> Did you see the scene, Eric, when you were at, in the men's room? <laughs> I wasn't in the men's room. Um, uh, the scene where they shoot Bobby, it, it's such a hard scene because you can actually see there's a conflict with the character. When he, when he goes to, to do it, do it. <laughs> and but he, but he can't help, help himself. himself. He, has he has to do it. His job. Hard scene. So, so it really is. It's hard, it's hard because you're seeing the power that this hypnosis has, has over these individuals. But in, but in a way, you feel like they're still mindful of what they're doing. Right. Gonzo yeah. wants to know about uh, if the commentary of the Manchurian Candidate on McCarthyism. Yes, please elaborate. I mean, the, uh, I forget who plays him, but... Oh, the guy from uh, Barney Miller. The captain. What was that? The captain from Barney Miller. Is for, yeah. Right. Uh, the, there are some you know very, very strong allusions to McCarthyism because in one of the opening <laughs> scenes, he is... They ask him about how many members of the Senate and Congress does he have documented that are known communists. And the number changes three times in two minutes. Oh, I see. So, and that was Joseph McCarthy. I believe on a TV show they were interviewing him and the number changed. Oh. And it wasn't even close. It was... Two different spectrums of numbers. So, uh, I think, Eric, you should ask Gonzo who Joe McCarthy was. I think he make, he thinks he's the dummy uh, Edgar Bergen had back don't, in the early Don't 30s. assume you know me. Um, go ahead and ask. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead and ask. Eric? He's acting very demure now. You can ask me that question now. Who's McCarthy, like. dummy? Who's Joe McCarthy? Not Edgar McCarthy. He's the one who sang at Woodstock. Well, that was Edgar Bur Charlie McCarthy was the wooden dummy. Country right. Joe McCarthy saying, hey, what are we fighting for? Oh, in the, movie, in the movie Joe. I don't give a damn about Vietnam. Mm -hmm. Country Joe McCarthy. You mean jo Country Joe McDonald and the Fish that was at... Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> Give me an F. That's give not me Joe F. McCarthy. That's what I thought he was. So who is he then, John, if you're so smart? I, I, I have no idea. I don't even know why we're talking about this motion picture. Can we go, to, can we go to, to Eric? Because I think he has an answer. I thought we were going to talk about... Uh, Kyle's face. What? Well, no, Eric, uh, what's, what's the answer? <laughs> Joe McCarthy was a senator from Wisconsin that uh, basically start, started a new era of the Red Scare. He uh, said he had a list of people that were known communists, and the list was false. Um, the people that he had listed either had no ties or the ties were distant ties. They were just chance circumstances. So he really started this paranoia over nothing. Nope, nope, you're wrong. There's a few things. They went to meetings. No, McCarthy's a liar. A couple of them went to young oh, we, meetings. Like to young meetings? Young socialist meetings. 
which put him on the list. Yes, there was not. It wasn't just an unwarranted list. And look who was right about Russia, huh? No, that was the Soviet Union. Hi, welcome to WPYP TV. Do you have any any questions to Gonzo, our uh, resident historian? No, but he did a great job on answering who said the McCarthy was. Thank you very there you much. Go. Thank you, sir. He got it right on the nose. And in fact, he ruined the, the communication industry, television and motion pictures, by making You're everybody uh, confess on someone else and declare them red. I think he means Eric, not you, Gonzo. <sighs> Semantics. Right, so... I lost what you said. Oh, we're just... Uh, you Thank know, you, sir, for that answer. Yes. Yeah. Do you have any comment about uh, the Manchurian candidate or on the tomfoolery that's going on uh, uh, right here at your tax-supported uh, public <laughs> TV station? I just turned on your show. I only caught the last part of it. But I like the first maturing in Canada better than I like the second one with Denzel Washington. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The one with Lawrence Harvey and, and I think it was Frank, Frank, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Oh, yeah. It's a great movie, but uh, we are not really able to get to the gist of it uh, today because, uh, you know, it's spring. Spring's out there. It's 70 and uh, part two the, tomorrow. Sap, the sap's We're, rising in next us. Next week will be part two. Part two. <laughs> Tune in next week and sir, the guns um, will be ready for sir, us. Sir, thank you for calling my show. Uh, what's your name? My name is Steve. Steve, um, Steve, you're a good man. Do you do you listen every week or watch every week? No, I just turned in. Uh, I, I get I turn in occasionally. Just got lucky then. I'll tell you what. Once you hang up, we're going to show another uh, clip. I'm mm -hmm. not sure if it's from the Manchurian Candidate because there's like three movies in the hopper. Okay, thank you for calling, Steve. Thanks, Steve. And uh, check right. us ne out next week when we try to resurrect this abortion of a show. Thank you. Okay. And then I just want to, I liked you when you used to give the baseball facts in the baseball shows. Oh, we will do a baseball show soon then. No, that's one thing. Gonzo, you like baseball, right? Uh, Eric, you like baseball. He's probably one of your yes. five viewers on YouTube. Oh, you're going to make me F-bomb. He you're just mm -hmm. get hey, me thrown off. Gentlemen, gentlemen. Uh, Trevor Story, um, AL Player of the Week. Shout out to him. Well done. Uh, all right, I'm going to leave because i got to get the watch, get ready to watch the Celtics later tonight. All okay, right, but Steve. we will do a baseball show in the next two weeks. Go Celtics! Go Celtics. Thank Go you. Steve. Take care. Go Steve. Hey, uh, Brendan, wow. do we have uh, – who gives a damn? Uh, as long as it's not uh, – <laughs> do you have uh, a uh, video that has the word K in it, K-A-Y? Uh, I have Waterfront 1, Waterfront 2, and yes, I do. Oh, let's watch that. All right, let's go. She's home. Okay. Ah! Now, in time, you'll feel differently. You'll be glad I stopped you now. I know that. I know you blame me for losing the baby. I know what that meant to you. I'll make it up to you, Kay. I swear I'll make it up to you. I'll... I'm gonna change. I'll change. I've learned that I have the strength to change. And you'll forget about this miscarriage. And we'll have another child. And we'll go on. You and I will go on. Oh. Oh, Michael. Michael, you are blind. It wasn't a miscarriage. It was an abortion. An abortion, Michael. Just like our marriage is an abortion. Something that's unholy and evil. I didn't want your son, Michael. I wouldn't bring another one of your sons into this world. It was an abortion, Michael. It was a son, a son, and I had it killed because this must all end. I know now that it's over. I knew it then. There would be no way, Michael, no way you could ever forgive me not with this Sicilian thing that's been going on for 2,000 years. Oh. 
Yep, but uh, we did. The, the betting here was whether I did successfully edit out the C word. I didn't. Which, thanks to Eric's good ears, we were going to do this about a month ago, but Eric said, you know he says the C word in this. Confident. Oh, he says something worse than that. I can't believe, I, I've never, she, she got rid of his son. Oh, yeah, she had an abortion. Oh, Just which in 1974, only one year after Roe v. Wade. This is very big, shocking stuff. To force his hand into leaving her, correct? Well, no, she destroyed the kid because she wanted to end the, she knew then they called the machismo. Well, it's a great movie. I Godfather 2 is one of the greatest movies ever made. It's in the top five. Of ever? Oh, yeah. It, Most it's Godfather. number two on my list. Yeah. What's number one, Eric? Oh, I gotta know. Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane. You would. Um. Yeah, so mine is um, Citizen Kane. Yeah, me too. Um, Land of War Times 7, and Ooh. then Godfather 2. Mine's Citizen Kane, Godfather 2, Crocodile Dundee, <laughs> um... The Polly Shore soccer movie. Hi, right, and welcome to uh, WPYP TV. Gonzo is really going down the tubes today, so we can use any help. Hi, at John. All. This is Jim in Manchester. Oh, hi. How are you? I like to congratulate Gonzo and uh, Kyle for the great job they did. I watched a baseball game yesterday. Oh. And they were uh, doing the commentary, and they, they did a great job. I just want to congr- say, tell them I really enjoyed it. That's great. I wish that I, I'd like to go there sometime and film you two with my. Uh, it's not me. It's, it's, it's the Kyle, other Kyle. It's Kyle. Oh, he, the other Kyle. Yeah, the but, good uh, Kyle. Yeah. Jim, and how did Al Pacino not win the Oscar? They gave it to Art Carney that year for Harry and Tonto. Well, that was That's my question. Yeah, the oh, and okay. Jack Nicholson was in Chinatown. Oh, I it, think that Pacino and uh, Nicholson. Who had been racking up the Oscar nominations? Who were coming into superstar? That had to be political in my mind. I don't know. Jim, well, let's get back to me here. Um, well, as Marlon Brando said, the Art Carney was a great actor. Art Carney, no one cared. Jim, let's yes, talk about did. baseball game. Yeah. What the? You we blew it, Hopwood. We can. Talk, do you want to talk about baseball next week, Jim guys? Did. What about you, Eric? I, I would be down to talk about baseball. Since, you know, Red yeah. Sox are starting to put it together. The Manchurian nah. candidate just is boring. Uh, Gonzo. You know, no, no I, I just I, I just appreciate my fans out there who call in it's, to say I did a good job doing Manchur- color the Man- commentary. The Manchurian candidate, you know, it just turns the sheer bitchery on in Gonzo. Oh, just and get- poor Eric is here between the two of us. Right, While not- Gonzo and I are looking, stag, what do they call it? You're staring daggers at each other. I'm Kyle. That's it. By the way, you're no. That's right. That's Kyle. Can I see the picture of you, Kyle, with the blank dot eyes? You're no Kyle Heavey. I'll tell you that. Plenty of pictures of me. Kyle Peavy? Yeah. He took a little. I thought it was Heavey. Yeah, there's no P involved. Um, Yeah, you can have that one. Oh, I don't want the picture. No, that's that is a good picture. Yeah, that's your. Another, another. He looks like you look like Judas in there. Thank you. Yeah, you put that in your refrigerator. I just finished uh, reading uh, the Master of Margarita by uh, Bogakov. You look like one of the great novels of the 20th century. Very good. Antonio Banderas. No, he looks like Judas. Jared Leto. How you wouldn't sell uh, your good pal Gonzo for just 30 pieces of silver, would you? Or would would you hold up for more? I think 30, 30 pieces of silver for Gonzo is a very, take, very fair deal. Take the deal. Yeah, very fair deal. Let me know. I, 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 would, I would sell Dirk for 30 pieces of silver. <laughs> Dirk Don, the Satanist from Iowa? Yeah, I'd sell him 30. Like, they'd, they'd get 30 pieces of sale, and I'd be like, Don, yeah. he's yours. No hesitation. That's 30 more pieces of silver than we had before, Eric. Interestingly, Absolutely. a Russian woman recently asked me to send her some silver. And I just laughed at her. Well, a very dramatic Why, laugh. Why, you have no money? Well, I do have silver. Well, you should have entertained that you conversation do. to begin I with. I do. Then why do you have no money? Well... Cash in your silver, buddy. I don't, have, I don't have that. T- you know, with me, everything's a metaphor. Okay. Oh, what's silver you, metaphor? Liquid so, like silver-tongued. Ah. Like, you know, Peter Stolo that's been on the show, he's a silver-tongued Dago. Kind of ta- like, like Frank Sinatra. I'm not talking about him anymore. Well, he was going to call in today. Why, why isn't he? He he actually has a job. I, I wait, hold on. You looked at me when you said that. Yeah. I know. I, I was. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was looking at Lawrence Harvey. <laughs> hey, I swear to God. I have a job and I call in. I work very very hard at my. So do I job. actually. And what have I done? I have honored you with the song "Dumpster Baby." Yeah. No, and no, what? what I, 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 I don't even hear it. Get any feedback. Dude, D- I have a job baby. too. 
what's that? Making love to the missus? I'm an artist. <laughs> well, wait until you get home. You know what that means. Nope. No, Mrs. Gonzo. I'm married. She's blowing up your replacement. Shut <laughs> up, John. You've crossed the line. You have crossed the line. Unbelievable. And I don't want to hear any laughter back there. That's enough. I should have been a uh, Gabby Hayes uh, type of actor back in the 1940s. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm married. What's your excuse? No, you're perfect. <laughs> You don't even have yeah. Well, when I'm when you're as good looking as I am, you know, uh, you know, you'd like to uh, uh, a better half that's at least as good looking. You haven't rode a roller coaster in 35 years. I uh, actually haven't ridden a roller coaster <laughs> in 30 years because of my back. No, what was your last of roller coaster? The rules. Hold I really on. haven't. 30 years. No, what yeah. was oh, you mean because I'm being it's a midget? It's embarrassing when you can't. Oh, no. Guys, that much. guys, we're I love all the friends. Old, the wooden ones. What was your last roller coaster? Back uh, nineteen ninety summer of nineteen ninety one, down at Canopy Lake. Yeah, they changed the height. Okay, the cannonball. It was the go. It was the wooden one. Yeah, cannonball. Yeah. yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I loved roller coasters. My back, I blew it out in the army. Mm. I get ten percent. If it wasn't for my army pension, I would be penniless. You penniless. Mean, you get ten percent of what? I get ten percent for my back. It's pension. I get 10% from my ear that got blown out. But from my uh, brain that got blown out, they uh, they refused to honor that. What about your finger? Because they can't prove What's it. What's an elbow? No, you said you got your finger cut off. Oh, last that was with Joel away. Elber. <laughs> no, you yeah. said you got your finger cut off. When I was Joel Elber's uh, campaign manager, I sliced uh, my finger off. Because what we did, we'd take Joel's old posters, because we didn't have any money, and we'd go to the dump, and we'd find somebody that was like running for state rep. We'd take their signs because they had already been thrown out, and we'd <laughs> cut the well, and then we'd just put them over. And he won. It was very economical. He oh won. yeah, it's called recycling, guys. Yeah, we didn't have the Democratic Party behind us. The Democratic Party's never uh, supported me because I really uh, pissed off Ray Buckley once, which I found out later was probably just because of my PTSD. You know, See, I, I don't know. Yeah, something. I talked to Buckley about that, and it wasn't that. It was what you did at that function. Which which you function? had two margaritas and you were out of control. Well, uh, oh, wait. no, that's what that Pe- was that's recently what Pe- at the that was with, uh, yeah. <laughs> Peter White and that congressman from Texas. Yeah, uh, or know. was it his twin brother that was the uh, uh, health nice and try, human? Nice try, Hotwood. Not going that. Nice try. Not taking the bait. I think that's the last time that Peter, yeah, and his uh, girlfriend were there. It was a long time. Ago. Anyway, I was talking about the time at Bill Berry's uh, fundraiser when you got wasted off one Cosmo and made a fool of you. I have never <laughs> drunk a Cosmopolitan. <laughs> I don't even know what it is. He's never drunk one Cosmo, okay? What is a Cosmo? I know Cosmo is a magazine. I learned the word masturbation drink, from my mother's oh my Cosmo. God, another box to check. Um, you. Well, this is an adult show. It's true. Uh, at four. We're adults. I can use the word masturbation. In uh, fact, I... We should... Oh, what? Scale that back, the we're adults thing. Uh, we pretend to be. Maybe age-wise. And oh, Eric, <laughs> I, I know the you know you're a pious person, and masturbation might not be uh, a word that you'd like to hear. Eric, we pay taxes I mean, at least. Look, I, mean, I think it's every... in the Bible. What? The word masturbation. That's f- that's four times in less than yeah. thirty seconds. Uh-huh. Well, you're not supposed to spread your seed. Right. Unless it's, it's in your wife. Or you're sowing. Yeah, you have to. Sowing. You yeah, you can't on just, fertile, it's... unfertile ground. Right, and you can't fertilize That Then it's the lust aspect maybe's. of it, too. I know, and we're here we have this dame with long legs and a, a queen of diamonds card. You know? <laughs> and what's the other option? And, and, and the, in German, it's lust, which means desire. Desire to... Which is... When are we going to do a streetcar named Desire, Eric? News. I've never seen a streetcar named oh, Desire. I Whoa. Need to, I need to straighten up my back. Fake oh, movie yeah. buff. Fake movie buff. Never seen a streetcar called Desire. I think that the car would be a hell of a uh, Stanley Kowalski. How would you know? You're, you you disqualified yourself earlier in the show. About Stanley Kowalski? No, about being able to judge... I can judge actors. Oh, okay. What? Do you think you could play Lenny Bruce? I have a script. Not. I was gonna show it to Ryan, but yeah. uh, that's a gone by. John, honestly, I've never been more confident in my entire life. Yes, yes, I could. You could play Lenny Bruce. Yep. In hell, I have the script. <laughs> if, is that where the uh, scene's located? Yes. <laughs> we can't do it on this show. And I'll come back. Teeth. 
Who's that? Why? Is you don't believe in me? Oh, I believe it. Are there swear words? I don't want Gonzo around when because he fine. he distracts you. No, it's That's we're we're, true, we're two independent people. We work as a team, but we well, yeah. He's like the medieval character Vice from the mystery plays. Don't you agree? No, I oh, cannot no. disagree, John. He's like like an er, you're every man, and he's there yeah. trying to get you off the 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 narrow path of goodness. I'm into flesh pots. And I'm stuff Lewis, like that. and he's you're putting me in flesh pots, dude. That's the, that's the shtick. Martin and Lewis. Hold on, you're putting me in flesh pods. I'll talk later. After no, that. I don't want. I don't. I can't. Were you in the flesh pot uh, around three o'clock? It's no, like, I've been doing. We yeah. I mean, your name's worth a lot of money, so. I I work twenty four seven. Take sporadic naps at best, John. Not even possible. Twenty four seven. I'm exhausted. Did I hear the word schnapps? I wish. Yeah. You what about you, Eric? You're alcohol. German, aren't you? German heritage. Uh, uh German. Irish, Jewish. Who is who isn't Irish? Everybody's part Irish. Yeah. Everywhere you go. Yeah, we ran out of heat last week. Well, you are Irish. I'm Irish, yeah. He is Polish. Gonzo. Uh, no, I'm Irish now. <laughs> You're what? My daughter, I'm Irish. Oh, Show your Celtic shirt proudly. Yeah, it's Paul, Paul Pierce won a championship. Yeah, I know who he is. He got that big tip. Tip. Tip ball at the end of that game against uh, the jump, Heat. It's a jump ball. Yeah. yeah. So, so for the next five minutes, would you rather just talk about sports? Like um, no, I'd like to go as rogue as possible. Like, oh, we have You'd like rule. to go as early as possible? No, rogue. Um, rogue? Let's consistently be inconsistent right now. We're not talking about anything in particular. Two like things. Well, we were that. talking about, what were we talking about, Eric? Exactly. Well, I have two things. <laughs> Number one, laminate everything from now on. That's the new rule because um, you can. And number two, did you know that so this you won't show have th third kid. for the third week in a row last week was the number one ranked Manchester public television program? What show? PPWRS. WPYP? Yeah, that, yeah. In specifically Manchester Famous edition of PP. And the, the numbers dropped off. They were half of what they no, were two weeks ago. No, but still number one. They were two weeks ago. They were half of what they were. What are you talking about? Which one? When you weren't here, you mean? Yeah, the numbers were way better. I'm going to start signing these. <laughs> uh -oh. Wait, I have a prediction. I have a prediction. No, none of that. Norm's uh, friend is here. Well, we're going to be leaving in, uh, in about... Uh, uh, what do you have planned uh, later today, uh, Kyle, to uh, put on the ball and chain at the place of work? Uh, yeah. At, I, at, I, at the Greasy Spoon? Correct. I do have a, yeah, a job at the Greasy Spoon. Oh, yeah. Uh, I know, mixing it up. I'm the minority in this in this group of that you have work uh, that you actually have a job. Yeah, getting a vision. That's good, you know. It has to do with and you. Like, deal with this. You never, never. Uh, the reading is coming to me. Are you looking at Looks me? like you you're about to have a bowel movement. <laughs> what? <sighs> wow, you don't want to know. <laughs> I don't either. Should we have these two jokers on next week, Eric? We? What is it? I always love it. Speaking with Kyle Clayton and Gonzo. Uh, Kyle Clayton, and you Thank noticed you. it was there's a significant uh, pause between. He's Ed and still Gonzo. Kyle. Um, Eric, I'm I'm not. Well, guys, I'm not. I'm just. I'm here to help. Are you into baseball, Kyle Clayton? I am. Uh, we are on a, I believe, a six-game win streak. The Red Sox. Bro. Will yes, you? Yes, they are. Uh, do you know about the existence of the Manchester Blue Sox, like your uncle John Clayton does? Not to the extent that he does. That's no, don't don't. Uh, nothing. Nobody I knows. Can't hair. <laughs> You, don't you know, know how job. they got that name? The Blue Sox? Yep. How? What tell, what'd you tell me? <laughs> the police They blew department. it in the ninth. Who? The Sox. The Manchester Blue Sox? Yeah, they were good, and then they weren't. They used to blow games. So we they, are really running out of gas here. Uh, can I pitch something? I'll sure. be at Guild today doing another baseball game. What with, time? Uh, 7 o'clock. Central, uh, but it'll be on TV. Cent Central, someone, and yep. that's channel 18. Channel 23. Oh, it's on channel. No, we're on channel 23. Yes, and not bad. Uh, we the, are the Joe Kelly Lavasser show will be on that at that point. So. It could be with all uh, Victoria Wadjuk Sullivan. Shut up. Uh, yeah, I she, won't be at Guild today. Be nice. I'll be camping out. Get a autograph from, from who? Vicky. Landslide Vicky. If I'm lucky. Eric, we've got to do our own radio show because uh, everything's coming come apart uh, like an old teddy bear left in the rain. I 
feel like come apart by in the seams. Number one, John, that's rude. I've been trying my best. We've lost control. No, no, John Hopwood's out of control. That's what it is. It's you two. You two. Should we leave and you end the show with us? Yes. No, yes. no. <laughs> you, you guys, you no. I'm gonna leave. You guys keep bantering. Do a solo queen. Eric, it's always a pleasure, my friend. I'm sorry. Thank you, Kyle. Likewise. Do a soliloquy. I'm not gonna do a soliloquy. I'm, I already said goodbye to Eric. I'm leaving. You guys figure it out. Grow up. When the going get tough, the clean get going. You're not really leaving. <laughs> are you? I'm not leaving, guys. All right, get over here. That was it. Relax. Was exciting. It was giving me chills. What are you? Are Andy? you nervous without me? Do, so, do we want to do a baseball show next? I can't do that. Yeah. Do a fake and exit. you will be a a host that day. I I no. not only you're a follow pole. I'm not an alcoholic, John. I'm a degenerate gambler as well. So yes, I know all about sports. Let's talk sports. We will do it. How about you, Eric? A sports show uh, next tomorrow, next week. Uh, baseball. Hopefully the yeah, Celtics are still around. I'm down for a sports show, baseball. Basketball. Maybe we can end up talking about how the Celtics start the NBA Finals the next day. I love your confidence, Eric. Please. Is there some way that we can, like, I'll talk to you later, to, uh, you know, engineer an event so that Gonzo is, like, snatched or something? He cannot be, he cannot be uh, snatched. He we, can't be snatched? But we could, no, he cannot be. We could work some baseball movie him. references in, like... <laughs> Like how in Major League, to tie the game, they did a they did double a suicide Olivier. from second base all the way in with Jake Taylor bunting. I thought that was Lawrence Olivier. No. He was, bunted, and the catcher was Alec Guinness. No, it was the guy from Platoon who got fried. Tom Barringer. Yeah. Yeah. He laid one down. See, we already were premise for the next show. Oh, excellent. Platoon's an excellent He movie. was great in that. Oh, it's a great movie. <laughs> He was insane. Psycho. He got fragged, right? Uh, well, uh, Charlie Sheen shot him. But, Fragging's but they were usually an about officer. It. They're thinking about Fragging's it. when you throw a grenade into the tent with the uh, first oh. lieutenant and uh, do him in. The fragments. Oh. Uh, Fragging's officers. Did you ever have a soap party? Oh, let's not be. Or uh, a blanket I'll tell you party. Afterward. Yeah, blanket parties. You, not me. Soap party. <laughs> Eric, do you want to have a blanket party with me? Open the door to no. your mystery day. That's well, folks, movie. we're very sorry that this show turned into a bunch of uh, just gibberish. Mm. But that happens every That's, now and then. It's need to know information, actually. Still number yeah. one. It, it, just, it, it just happens. Still number and one. I don't think you wanted to really know about the Manchurian Candidate anyways. And if they want to know about the Manchurian Candidate... What can they do, Eric Pilcher? Yeah, who won the election? They can go to YouTube and search Matt Connerton Unleashed, where the video, where the my review of the Manchurian Candidate is posted, or go to PilcherSpoint.com and look at Classic Film Review Archives. It is posted there as well. All right, folks. We'll see you next week. It's going to be the it's going to be called the baseball show, but we're going to be talking about all sports. And I'm going to shut up some. Thank you, Jim, for and uh, thank you, Steve. Let's see that. Roll that last video that begins with A. Roll the video. Kyle uh, Kraken's tribute to Landslide Vicky. Not me. Roll it. Well, it's not you. It's what is it, mother? What sort of a greeting is that at three thirty in the morning? It's a quarter to three. And what do you want? I want to talk to you, Raymond. About what? I want to talk to you about that communist tart. Shut up with that mother. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we had a, uh, a hey, something went bad. <laughs> wow, it's public TV. It makes fun. <laughs> Is there one that says A? Uh, there you go. Today's May 25th. It's not the intro. It's an outro. The outro, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm here tonight to reiterate
reiterate my concern for taxpayers in regard to this proposed budget at a time when our citizens are sitting around their kitchen tables talking about where they can cut spending in order to make ends meet. This board is increasing spending and taking on bonds and financial commitments at an alarming rate. Some current and former city employees have actually confided in me that they've witnessed firsthand departmental waste. Many of these employees also stand with the displeasure and disapproval of many of the union bosses as they only look out for the guys at the top. Mrs. drove the pickup all the way downtown. And on TV, I saw her fussing and pouting like a dad burned clown. I got the city hall blues. I got the city hall blues. Lord, I got them. I got the city hall blues. happy enough but we moved to the big city and it's sure been rough i got the city hall blues i got the city hall blues lord i got them i got the city hall blues Mrs. thinks she's the mayor of this whole darn town. Since we arrived in the Queen City, all she does is b and frown. I got the city hall blues. I got the city hall blues. Lord, I got them. I got the city hall blues. To step right back to our old truck farm. The missus should be back to milk and the cows in our old red barn. I got the city hall blues. I got the city hall blues. Lord, I got them. I got the city hall blues.